I'm Katrina, and this is So and Care. Today we are making elderberry juice. It is elderberry season, and juice is easy to make. These ones I happen to make from frozen berries that I had harvested a couple years ago. <laughs> Time to do something with them. I emptied bags of frozen berries into a pot and covered just the bottom with water so it wouldn't um, so it wouldn't burn. And I don't know where that footage is, so you get my voice instead. <laughs> Once you boil it for a little bit, you'll get the uh, berries nice and plump. Then you go to the next, next step. Our elderberries have been cooking. I put them in the fridge and I just heated them up. Oh, this is wet just because I washed it. But <clears throat> I put that flour sack towel down and I can pour the berries in here. Now we're going after the juice, so that's why we have a cheesecloth. These elderberries I foraged for, I think it was a couple years ago, they've been in the freezer. So I figured juice is the best, best way for them. Now this will dye this cloth. It'll wash out and be a little bit purplish and then once you wash it enough times it'll go to brown. It'll look really dirty. So don't do this with anything you don't want to look that way. So if you have a jelly stand, this is, I think you could use that. I don't have one so I'm not going to use one obviously. Now this is the same process that I use for all my berries when I take when I get juice out of them. Um, you can see they're all they're all plumped up, so we're gonna squeeze that through. Not the best lighting. I understand. So corner to corner. And in my case, I'm going to be tying it up here. So you need to actually move some things. So I can center the bowl. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie the corners together and you need something to hang this from. Well, you don't need it, but it's good. So, I'm just going to pick up these corners and hold them. Alright, so we want, i got to back this up. We want this to be outside of, or we want it to be raised up from the water level. Or from the, we want this to be raised up from the liquid level. So I'm just going to tie this and then we'll tie it again. And I'm going to loop this other through it as well. So I tied opposite corners and now I'm tying opposite corners again. So if you don't have a jelly, I forget what they're called. If you don't have a jelly bag hanger thing, this is a great alternative. If you have um, handles on your cabinets, it's free. <laughs> so you can see this is a little tiny stream going down and you can either let that uh, rest all the way and get all the juices out that you can or you can start squeezing it. So. Because I have other things to do, I'm just gonna let it sit there and this can take a long time and then I'll squeeze it later. So it'll be fine later. Um, but it's going at a pretty, it's a tiny stream, but it's at a pretty good pace. So we'll come back when next step. So 
So I'm using these silicone um, hot pads to squeeze the juice out. Uh, before I had this, before I had these, I would just use this and then put my hand in a plastic bag. <laughs> um, this is hot, so I don't want to burn myself. But let me zoom in so that you guys can see. It stopped, it stopped streaming, it's just dripping now. So I want to be able to get as much as I can out. And I'm gonna squeeze from the top down. So starting at the top, squeeze that area. You can see the more is coming out. And you're work your way down. And you can do this as many times as you want and get as much juice out of it as you want. At some point it's gonna be pretty dry. It just depends on the level of effort that you want to put forth. So you can see I have another hot pad behind it. I'm turning it sideways, I mean you can't see my arms in the way. So, once you have the top out, you can kind of squeeze from the top down. And I don't know if you guys can see, but that's getting more juice. see that that's holding a shape that I pressed it means it's getting drier and there you go so I am gonna let this hang over a small bowl while I return this to the pot. So I'm gonna return this to the pot and So this is the juice that we got. And I need to heat it up so we can can it. So because I couldn't find a juice recipe, I went by, um, you know, elderberries might not be acidic. I don't know. They, I'm just going on the air on the side of safety and I just poured now, elderberries used to be in here, that's why it's a different color, but I just poured in two-thirds cup of um, lemon juice, and I'm planning on using this kind of as an additive to tea, so that's going to be totally fine. All right, I'm going to turn this back on. That's what it looks like. We're going to bring it to a boil so that we can can it. All right, my camera shut off. So, what I'm saying is that fourth inch head space is what juice is supposed to be, but if it's a little less, it's gonna seal. I'm not very, doing very many of these, so. I can go back and put more in if I need to. If you're a stickler, you can put boiling water in to, to you know, make it even.
elderberry does stain, so whatever you're using for a cloth underneath, make sure that it is okay if it's stained. That looks good. And I have just a little bit left in here. I'm going to just use it for something. It's literally like two tablespoons, so. There's your elderberry juice. I'm going to be canning this with a peach, uh, not peach. I'm going to be canning this with a apricot, um, a fresh apricot jam. So it's the same processing time and that helps the elderberry juice with lemon. We'll wipe the rims with vinegar. These are the Harvest Guard lids with two parts. There's the gasket and the lid. Alright, center. Press down with one finger. On. Fits because the rack it came with it has too big a holes for this these small containers. All right, the water is back up to boiling. And I can put these back in. at least an inch over it and once it goes up to a boil again we'll go for five minutes all right we're up to a boil we'll start our five minutes all right five minutes is up let's get these out it does look like we had some siphoning. I know that one fell over earlier. We'll see how it goes. If you are using Harvest Guard lids, remember to tighten down your jars once you have them out. And I hope you enjoyed this and have a lovely day. Please like and subscribe and share with someone. It's elderberry season.